Good morning guys and welcome back. We have a huge update for you this week, but this hasn't just been this week, it's been the last few weeks that we've been working on this room and we have quite a lot to catch you up on. We're also working with Squarespace again in this video. I'll chat more about my website later on. But yeah, so much, so much has been going on. I can't wait to show you if you can't tell by my beaming smile. It just, it feels good up here. It feels like we're gonna be up here soon and we'll be able to decorate for Christmas. And I just can't wait. Um, but let's take it back and show you the work that we've done to get it to here. So first up, I worked on the fireplaces. If you are long-term viewers, you may know that we had one of these in the rooms, which we took off of the wall and we got it stripped of all the chipping paint. It had layers and layers of paint. And then we also managed to find one secondhand that was identical in style, but a little bit smaller for the room that was missing a fireplace. So after they were stripped, we also put some rust converter on them and then I'm just priming them here so that that rust stays away. And then we also spray painted them. We invested in a new spray painter, which I'll show you because it was amazing. And while I was doing that, Ollie was focusing on the paneling in the bathroom. He really was determined to make this soundproof, which is what he's doing here. The next day, Ollie focused on the paneling still, and I ripped up this green carpet. Yes, it has been there for nearly two years, and I was so glad to see it go. It had so much dust stuck in it. It was absolutely unbelievable. The hallway is actually a project that we're probably not gonna be doing until the new year, but I wanted to get rid of the carpet so that I could paint the hallway to get rid of the dust, and then we could have like all the electrics and other bits done, so. It did need to be done and my gosh, it was a little bit of a job, but so rewarding. The ripping out is my favorite. Here's the dust, I mean, ugh, it smelt too. If we haven't already painted enough, we had more painting to do. I cracked on with the hallway, which to be honest, I had been putting off because we had to paint over the staircase, which you'll see in a second, and it's quite high. I wasn't actually sure how to do it, but our long rollers were absolutely amazing. I'm just propping on the first kind of mist coat here. We also made this little tool so that we could get right into the top corners over the stairs. And this was just simply a case of keep keep painting, keep painting. I think I did three coats of white, two watered down coats, um, a full fat coat we call it, and then also the color we went for. So yes, it took quite some time, especially over this bit that you're seeing now, <laughs> where um, little old me is just down there in the stairs, reaching all the way up to get to the top of the walls. And if you're scared of heights, this isn't the job for you. Look away now. And at this point, we finally, finally finished the flooring. But before I show you what it's looking like in this front room, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you are new around here, then you may not know that I have been in the process of transferring my website over to the Squarespace platform. And it is finally live, so you can go and check it out in the description box. I'm so impressed with how it has turned out and frankly just how easy it was to do for somebody who is not into the techie or code side of things at all. And if you don't have a foggy what I am talking about, then Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create your own website or blog. They have loads of different templates to suit all its styles and you can swap and change between them until you find your perfect match. And what I love is that the back end of the website is so user-friendly. You can upload blog posts and imagery and change your site at any time that you want without any help needed. So if you are wanting to start your own website, they have a free trial so you can get creative and have a bit of fun. And if you're wanting to go live with your website, then I have a 10% off discount code, which you can click on the link below, which is squarespace.com slash Laura, which gets you 10% off your first website or domain. But I would highly recommend, please do give mine a check out and let me know your thoughts. Now it's time to show you this flooring.
and here it is under all of this mess. This was such a process, having to move things around the room as you were putting down the floor. I mean, I'm so glad that we have floor down now and we don't risk going through the ceiling all of the time while we're working, it does make it a lot easier. But at the same time, moving it from room to room was a little bit of a pain. We finally finished off all of the main flooring um, relatively quickly. It did take a little bit of time, but then we had lots of jobs to go back to and kind of fill in all of um, like some small gaps or doorways. As you can see here, Ollie is cutting off a little bit of the um, flooring in the bathroom so that we can butt the floor up to it, like the wood flooring. And then it was finally time to sand and I didn't get much footage from the sanding because it's what killed my last camera with all of the dust but actually it wasn't as dusty as we expected. That's probably because we took out all the floorboards and planed them like you guys know so we were only really sanding them on a really light sand to just get them really beautifully smooth. And here's how they are, we cannot wait to get them stained which will be happening hopefully this week. I didn't even think about what you were wearing. <laughs> Our postman is not the most jolly postman, so that was an experience. <laughs> And this is where we are now. It's a little bit later on. Actually, it's only about midday, but it is so dark. You can see that we're putting the color onto the wall. I wanted to show you here, because you can kind of see the difference between the white, whereas this room that we've just completed kind of all looks white now, because it's also on the ceiling, so you can't see. It's like a gorgeous beigey gray. I've talked about it before. Um, yeah, it's just a lovely color. You can kind of see here, it actually looks much cooler on colour, but it's much more of a beige in real life. Um, it's Bianco by Fire Earth. Now we're onto the hallway, and Ollie is literally walking the plank. Good luck, my love. Good morning, guys. We are on the final countdown. I am so close that I can basically taste it. Um, well, actually what I can taste is sawdust, but in good news, we actually didn't get that much um, dust from the floor sanding, which is exactly what we wanted, um, but I'll show you what they're looking like. So these in here are so flat. Ollie only did one grit, I think he did the 40, so these still need to be made smoother, but they feel so, so good. We're so impressed. And then here's Al, he's looking in here. <laughs> Um, we also did these in here and they're about the same on the 40, but again, these need to get softer, but we're pausing today to do the bathroom paneling. So this is the bathroom paneling that we bought. What, well, which company was it from? The bath, it was like called the bathroom paneling yeah. company or something. Yeah, it was like British paneling. British. British that was it. Um, we got one big sheet of it and Ollie's having to cut it down, but it's a little bit complicated, isn't it? Because we're also, um, trying to work out the pipe work where the pipe web's going and where our sunny flow's going, because we're doing like a little door hatch so that you can access it. Um, and poor Earl's having a bit of a headache, but we need to get this cut as much as possible because I want to paint it today so that the chap can come in and do the bathroom. If I just show you, this floor hasn't been sanded at all yet. I think I showed you that Ollie did this, but he's putting it like, he's really making it as soundproof as possible. But over here, he needs to make sure that there are the pipes to go through. And then this is gonna be our door hatch. I don't know whether it's gonna be slightly smaller than that, but that's the space that you need to access the sunny flow. And we've got like little magnetic grippers. Are they magnetic grippers? No, they're mechanical grippers. Mechanical grippers. <laughs> to go there. I ordered them, but obviously I had no idea what I was ordering. And then we are actually splitting the paneling here so that if we ever need to access the um, cistern at the back of the toilet, we don't have to take off 
the sink and the whole of the panelling. We will have to take off quite a bit. We'll have to take off the toilet and this panelling, but it should be, fingers crossed, a little bit easier than having. It's going to be easier. It won't be easy though. Um, so I'm really hoping we'll have to put it. Yeah. It's the kind of thing that you only have to access every now and then anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, hopefully. And we can just take off this panel here once we get back there. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. And then we also had the electrician come in, didn't we? Um, he did, we're having two spotlights here because we're also having, I call them wardrobes, but they're gonna be cupboards. cupboards. Storage cupboards. Yeah, I think we've decided that we'll have five up to about where that light, uh, after where that light hits. And we'll have one as like a cleaning storage and then towels and then other bits and bobs. He put our fire alarm in, um, our dangly light. White company light is going to go there. You can tell here that we have painted this hallway now. Um, and then he also put in the extractor fan, the two lights to go in there. And then you kind of can't notice. Um, actually, Ollie took most of these out, but he started placing in all of the spotlights in these rooms, but we need to touch up around them. They do work now though, don't they? If we had light bulbs. The oh yeah. Now, so we're using Yay! The That's really exciting. It is a little bit later and I am back to prime the panelling that I was cutting earlier. I'm priming it in an intelligent ASP, it's a water-based all-surface primer undercoat and we are recommended this um, for like wood panelling that's going to be behind a sink so hopefully it will protect it and it seems like this is actually the colour so the colour we went for was pearl coloured dark it's a gorgeous like greeny green so I'm gonna open this one up and um, I think I'm gonna prime it actually I need to read I think I'm gonna prime it in a paintbrush even though I usually would roll up but I feel like a paintbrush puts things on a little bit thicker and I want to make sure it really gets a good coat of the primer because I think I'm only gonna do one coat there let's just have a read I don't think it actually says on there so I might have to read that up a little bit later but I'm hoping to do this we in all honesty, it's been it's been a little bit of a tough month. Uh, it's been quite full on and we've been trying to get as much done as possible before hitting the 1st of December. And this top floor, in so many ways, has taken so much longer than we ever thought it would. But we always forget that we're doing it in our spare time. And there's not a lot of that, so we've been spending every evening up here. And it's so much harder, like I'd forgotten how much harder it is at this time of the year because it's about 3.30 now and it is getting very dark. So you kind of like lose the ump for to keep going when it's so dark outside. And what we always do, which I don't know if it's a bit of a mistake or a good thing, but we obviously um, have trade coming in for a few things that we have our plumber coming back to fit the bathroom. And we book them in and we feel like we have plenty of time for them to come and then we're always rushing last minute to try and get the jobs finished off before they get in which is one way is good because it pushes us to get it done but in another way it adds so much stress like so much stress on top of it all i have been breaking out like i haven't broken out in years and ollie you can just tell how tired he is so yeah we are looking forward to the first of december decking the halls and hopefully <laughs> hopefully being able to relax up here Okay, apparently this is hard to open. Oh, so it just looks like the paint. It just looks like the colour of the paint. And oh, it's got a pong to it though. Yeah, it definitely smells like a primer. I'm hopefully going to get coated this on so that it can dry because I think it'll at least need two coats of the top coat and this has to go on and be finished tomorrow. Wish me luck. Well, actually, you'll probably see. <laughs> It's pretty much dark now, but thankfully the camera is lighting it a little bit. I have primed the two boards. You can see the color change from there to there. Actually, I was quite impressed. It gave really good coverage, but I don't know whether I'll do a top coat with the primer as well in a roller. I don't know, just to make it really nice and neat, because you can't see 
all of my brush strokes and it was so long that I couldn't do one big brush stroke the whole way down. You can also see where Ollie has cut the holes there and he shortened this one. Hopefully now these will dry in time for him to pop those up. It is the next day and Ollie cut all of the panelling to the right sizes and it has been done in the top coat twice now. And then next door, Ollie is currently just laying out the mass, mass loaded vinyl, which is this stuff, which we're gonna be gluing onto the back of the sheets to soundproof them in to here, hopefully so that we don't hear that sunny flow. And then, then we're gonna start unboxing and making all of our bits for the bathroom in hope that it makes it a little bit quicker for our plumber tomorrow and costs us less. <laughs> and actually, this is fun. Like, this is the fun part of it. And for the occasion, I have on my gingerbread socks. My friend George got me these. I mean, we've not got the panelling in yet, but Holly's getting overexcited. Oh my. Oh my. Ooh, we can either do the shower or the taps. Two taps. see starting to get the Christmas boxes out our Christmas decorations still aren't up yet but today has been a mega exciting day because the bathroom went back in the plumbers came back and I think I'm gonna be a mega tease and leave that for a bathroom transformation because it's it's like done now which is just insane and I'm gonna be honest you'll know if you've renovated before you have days where you think what are we doing? <laughs> Is this the right thing? Um, just difficult times. And we've been having, the last few weeks have been tough. Um, just like physically hard, a lot of work. And then you get these days, like today, where the bathroom goes in and you feel just energized again. And yeah, over the moon. But anyway, I'm also over the moon because this arrived and I'm pretty sure this is a painting so a lovely subscriber actually got in touch and um she, with everything that's been going on with covid she has turned to painting and she, she basically said i think that you'll love my paintings and she's so right they are totally my style um and said that she'd love to send me one so i cannot wait to open it because this is going to be going on the top floor and pretty much Apart from the things that we need, we haven't been buying anything for the top floor. I've not been buying any pretty things or any paintings. So this is gonna be the first thing that we've got to go up there. Oh, Kaya, this is stunning. So she's called Kaya and um, her art is called Kaya. Um, I just think it's Kaya Bass artwork or I will leave it linked down below. Dear Laura, firstly, thank you. Oh, that was lovely. I'm gonna keep that. I mean how absolutely stunning so that's one of her art pieces there i am so excited to open this up it's in brown paper oh he's gonna be so annoyed that i've opened this without him oh it is so beautiful it is it's getting dark so i wonder if you can see but how absolutely Stunning. So she's got actually our top floor is um, loads of sage greeny colours and she's got all of the beautiful sage green here and it's got like, I'll show you a close up, but so many tones and I love the water, like scenes of water are my favourite. I'm Pisces and I adore water. Um, and just this, the like glistening on the sea is one of my all time favorite things. And I think how she's done the gold here just depicts that so, so beautifully. I wanna go and put it up there. Do you, think I, do you think I could take it up there even though it's not ready? You know what I love? I love that she knows my style, like so clearly by this, 
she knows me so well. Um, and also, she's going to do these in print, so this is a beautiful painting, and she does um, commission painting at a really good price, so definitely check her out. Um, but you can also buy the prints on Etsy. Ah, this has made my day, month, year. You know what? I actually think, Kaya, this is our first ever painting. I'm not sure that we have an original painting. So it was our first, and thank you so, so much. It is stunning. I think I'm going to have to take it upstairs and see um, what it looks like. I just got so excited running up the stairs that I fell over. This is the bathroom, by the way. I'm in the bathroom. This is the colour of the panelling that we did and kind of like the colour that we're doing up here. Um, how gorgeous does it look? Also, just in case you've spied, that one isn't staying on there. Um, if I can grab it. This thing sits on it, so it's a little bit more traditional. Oh. I'm wondering if it could also go over a fireplace. The fireplaces aren't in yet. I'm gonna have to wait for Ollie to come home, I think. I can't do it with my hands. I'm too impatient now, I just wanna see it up. Also, look at the sunset tonight. Be beautiful out there. It is like a gorgeous, wintry evening. Little tiny bathroom sneak peek. Probably the most mohusip sink. And I forgot to sign off the video, so I thought I would come and say bye, show you where we are. I'm talking quietly because it is so echoey, because it is empty in here basically. Um, but we're basically there now. We're on to all of the fun things. Let me show you. So this room has flooring down. Painting is totally done. Lights are ready to go. The only thing that we have left to do is trim work and putting the fireplace back, which all has to be done after we stain the floors. So we purchased and went and picked up all of the floor stain the other day. So we should be able to do that quite quickly. It will have to be in stages because you have to let it dry. So that's our next job for the whole of the top floor. Then the fireplace will go in and then the trim will go in. And then it's just like a little tiny little bit of painting to do and we're done so so pleased obviously the window has to be sorted out as well with the trim we'll put some trim up around here and then paint all of that and yeah then we can move in and then coming out to the hallway you can see the floor is all nicely sanded there now and it also looks so good when you look over to the step area where it's finished off the bathroom is sealed off because we were doing a little bit more sanding so that's currently undercover and that still has quite a lot of touch-up work to do it's pretty much the same out here a little bit of skirting board although i don't think we'll put this skirting board in because the wardrobe's going in and then we're leaving this paneling until some point in the new year and also the stairs so obviously we sanded up to here but we haven't sanded the stairs I'm not quite sure when we'll get that done i reckon it will be a job that we do little by little like maybe a few evenings a week do a few different stairs because this all has to be done with the hand sander rather than the rented sander and then this room is the same all of the floors are done yeah we're ready to go when i say go i mean move in i'm ready to move in <laughs> and hopefully in the next video we will actually be moving up here i will see you guys all in that one actually there's some christmas videos coming first but I will see you soon. Bye.